G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. I'm doing a another video at the moment about where I'm walking, but I've decided to bring the Helicontex Matilda pack out with me and give it a test over the eight plus kilometers, which is just over five miles. I'm carrying 13 kilos in weight in the pack at the moment so it's, a, it's an okay test it's not a let's see if we can break it test it's a okay this is what I need in my pack to do four or five days how comfortable is it and how does it perform test so in a sense this is part one of the test of the Helicontex Bushcraft range Matilda backpack. About 2.5 kilometers in, we're using the Matilda pack. No issues with it at the moment. In the first kilometer, I had to adjust it a couple of times, tighten it up. That's probably just my body adjusting. And since then, since then, I haven't had to touch it. It's sitting on my hips or my waist area, nice and comfortable. There's no robin yet. Let's hope it stays that way. So I've got a decline coming up, quite a steep one, so I'm going to finish talking. Yeah, I've had no issues with it. I haven't had to adjust the shoulder straps. There's no strain from the pack on my shoulders or my arms or my legs or anything at all at the moment, or so my neck. So let's give it another 7 point, no I'm saying 5.7 kilometers and let's see how it goes there. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to work it out.
we were just over six kilometers in and the Matilda pack is holding up really well I still haven't had to adjust it it's sitting just where I put it if anything I've had to do my lace up on one of my boots because they're fairly new boots and these laces are not that good but a pack give it a thumbs up if there's no neck ache from the pack no shoulder ache I'm getting a bit of neck ache from holding the camera and the tripod like this but the pack none at all no bobbing on the hips yeah it's working well let's see how it goes by the end walking for 7.5 kilometers which is almost five miles now the route I'm on is a loop walk which is at 8.2 kilometers but because of filming walking backwards and forwards going down odd tracks to do some filming I'm probably still two kilometers away so I've added about I'd say a kilometer by doing that, so we've been looking at just over nine kilometers walking with the pack by then, but seven and a half kilometers. What I have noticed is I'm not leaning forward. A lot of your hiking packs, even with the load lifters on, you tend to end up leaning forward to compensate for then coming loose or slipping, or just not adjusted properly in the beginning. I haven't had any of that. I'm still walking with my back straight. I was leaning forward a bit when I was climbing up some those inclines, and that's why I didn't fall backwards. But the pack hasn't forced me to lean forward, it hasn't caused me any hassle so far. So, Matilda is it as good as the little Bergen? <laughs> I don't know. I honestly don't know because I love that little Bergen. But I'll use this on some longer hikes. I'm hoping to get back on the Bilbo track and do uh, one, two, three, four days. And that is, I think it's about 89 or 87 kilometers. So, yeah, I'll, be, I'll use that then and see how it copes with that. But the way it's going, for me, I don't know about everyone, but for me it's a bloody good pack. But let me walk the next one and a half, two kilometres back to the car and I'll give you a final update. And I'll carry on watching these cockies and listening to them squawk. Noisy buggers.
Okay, we're at the 9.2 kilometers, and I think the pack has done really well. As you can see, so still there, everything's still done up, nothing slipped. There's no any more adjustment to be made on the belt, so that stayed exactly where it was. Comfort wise, really comfortable. So no trouble with it, no slipping, no aches, no pains. So far, it's a good pack. So what I'll do is, I'll add a link down below to uh, the Survivor Supplies Australia, going straight to the Matilda backpack. And if you have to want, and you live here in Australia, go and have a look, because any orders, I think is over $75. It's delivered for you in Australia. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, and you're not a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell next to that, and click all, and then click the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.